In recent years, anime has pretty much become mainstream media. Looking back at the start of the century, you will notice an obvious contrast between how anime was perceived back then and how it is perceived now. Nowadays, there isn't a single person who hasn't watched at least one episode of an anime, for the most part at least. When you mention anime, most people will think of Naruto, One Piece, My Hero Academia, these sorts of anime. They are recognized as the face of the anime industry, mostly for the shonen category, both literally and figuratively. But when you start heading towards signing anime, the first show that comes to most people's minds is the popular Death Note. Yes, it's not the top signing anime of all time, but it's the most memorable one. But I'm not here to talk about Death Note. I'm here to talk about a show that's so similar to Death Note, yet so different in so many ways. A show that's not talked about as much as it should be. A show that taught me about the beautiful yet ugly truth of human nature. I'm here to talk about Monster. Now Kurosawa's monster is terrifying, and I love it. It's a brilliant psychological thriller about a serial killer whose ability to compel others around him allows him to simply turn them insane, or even make them murder. And that's not because of powers or some unexplained magic, it's all because of his horrifying, yet charismatic behavior. The show makes you question what we are as humans, the morality of our decisions, whether we did right or wrong, and if it's possible for a human to truly become a monster. Unlike most anime, this one is not set in Japan, but rather in Germany, with only a Japanese protagonist as a sort of connection to the audience. It does not revolve around typical cliches, and it does not act like an anime. When you watch it, you're not just watching an anime, you're watching a psychological and philosophical show. That is mostly due to when the anime and the manga were made. Urusawa created Monster in 2002, while the anime aired from 2004 to 2005. And although it did come out in the 2000s, there was a bit of dissonance between it and the rest of the anime of that era, as it held so much of the spirit what I'd like to call the golden age of anime. The 90s to be exact. Most anime around that time had this almost eerie and bizarre atmosphere to them. They were not fast-paced, when you watch a scene you have to take it all in. There was no music at every corner, when it's quiet you have to listen, and so on and so forth. On the surface, Monster is essentially about two characters, Kenzu Tenma, the good-natured protagonist, and Johann Lieber, the terrifying titular antagonist. Two people with flawed ideologies, one more flawed than the other, one who believes all lives are equal, and another who sees that equality only exists in death. And through the entire show, these ideologies are shown, but not through these two people, but rather through those around them. The other characters in the show, characters with lives and stories to be told. There's a reason the anime spans 74 episodes, and at times it may feel slow-paced to some, but if anything, it's perfect. Everything, every single character, every episode, every scene, second, it's all important to the story. The longer you're in for the show, the more you connect and feel for the characters. I can go on and on about the philosophies behind the story, make an analysis of all the deep characters, talk about the themes all day, but I don't want to ruin the experience for you. This anime is amazing on so many levels, and I want you to check it out. I want you to share this. I want you to knock on your neighbor's door, break their windows, kidnap them, and make them watch the show with you. Trust me, you won't regret it. As for how to watch it, that's the bit of the issue. It is available on Amazon Prime right now, but mostly in the US, which is kind of a dick move if you ask me. But I'm gonna make you watch this anime no matter what. Don't care about laws? Are you a hardcore outlaw? Try Kiss Anime or Nine Anime. But if you want your record clean, you can always use NordVPN on a sponsor. I'll leave a link down below in the description for all these sites I mentioned, including the forbidden ones. So if you're in luck, check them out. Please, it's gonna be worth your time. Hey there! I see you've made it to the end of the video, unless you time traveled somehow and skipped to the end. But thank you so much for watching. This isn't technically my first video since, uh. Let's forget about that. This is my first video essay, and I intend to make more of these in the future if I can. No promises. 
If you like this video, then please leave a like. No need to comment if you don't want to, no pressure. But please subscribe, I need more people. No pressure once again. If by some miracle you're interested in reading, or you're just someone who likes books in general, please check out my short stories, currently out on Intid, Wattpad, and Web Novel. The second one is still ongoing, still in the very beginning. So if you're interested, please check it out. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and making it to the end. I really appreciate it. And I guess I'll see you later. Bye-bye.